Alright guys, this video we are going to go to the third type of Limasan curve, which is this, what's called the dimpled Limasan. I trust you, I'm not making this stuff up. Um, this big thing right here, when we do the A over B, the ratio is that it's in between 1 and 2. Alright, um, and we're going to look at number 3, which is going to um, give us that ratio in between 1 and 2. Um, but just to kind of go over some points, this is this is what the graph's going to look like. Okay. Um, again, you can see the little dimple, so it's very similar to the cardioid, but you make you know it just looks like a little dimple right there. That part, the dimple is going to be on the x-axis if it's cosine. And number three actually is a cosine. Remember, if this was sine, then the little dimple would be on the y-axis, um, the cosine symmetric to the x. What's going to happen for this one, which I don't think we've seen yet, if you have a minus in front of the b, whoops, then the graph is going to flip over the x-axis, excuse me, the y-axis. That's what's going to happen here. So if I take this and I flip it over the y-axis, this dimple would move this way. And then like this point would flip over that way. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So go to number three, which is the next side. All right, so number three. Um, let's zero in on this. Zoom in. So first thing we do, and when you have the homework on this, they're all going to be mixed. So you always want to identify A and B and figure out the ratio and see if it's the cardioid or if it's the dimpled one. All right, so this one, the A is the vertical shift, right? A is 3, B is the 2. You can leave the negative out. So A over B is the 3 over 2, and that's in between the 1 and 2. So it's going to be that you're going to have the one that has the dimple with it. And I'll say since it's cosine, the dimple is going to be on the x-axis. All right, and since you have a minus, the dimple is going to be to the right. Like when we graph, I think the example uh, was something like it was here, like the little dimple was here. It looked like something like this. Now this is going to flip, and the dimple is going to be over here, and these points are going to flip. All right, so once we have the big picture in mind, then we'll just do the easy part where, you know, again, this is always theta, so the period's 2 pi, increments are pi over 2. This is always the same. So we're going to get the same five angles, 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, sorry, this is sloppy, and 2 pi. And then to figure out the R values, we just have to know the max, min, and equilibrium from when we graph the cosine waves. Uh, let's see here. Equilibrium always equals the vertical shift. And in these forms, A is the vertical shift. So the equilibrium is 3. Um, the max, we add the B value, which is really the amplitude. So that's 2. So add 2 to the 3. The max is 5. Oh, what did I just do there? All right, sorry about that. So the max is 5. And then the minimum... We take away the amplitude, so we take away 2 from the equilibrium of 3, and we get 1. All right, so 1, 3, and 5, these are the only values that we're going to get for R. All right, now when we graph cosine, it usually starts at the max unless there is a negative in front. And in this case, there is a negative in front. So it's going to flip, and this is real important, it's going to start at the 1. So it's going to start at the bottom, so we're going to have 1, then go up to the equilibrium of 3, go up to the max of 5, come back down to the equilibrium of 3, and end at the minimum of 1. All right, so we see that should be the easiest part. So let's take those five points, let's graph them. So when we graph them, 0, 1, I go to the angle of 0 right here. I'm going to go to the first circle, which is this point right here. A little check mark. Pi over 2, 3. There's the angle pi over 2. We're going to go to the third circle, which is this right here. Got that point. 
at pi, then we're at 5. So here's go to the angle first. We go to the fifth circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is this point right here. Put a little check mark. Uh, then at 3 pi over 2, which is this angle, the radius is 3. So we go to the third circle. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then this to 2 pi 1, that's going to be the same as 0, 1. Right? It's coterminal with 0. It's this same point. All right, so you can see how the original graph that we looked at, the, the dimpled Limousin flipped over the y-axis because we had that, the B, there was a negative in front of B. All right, so when we graph this, the, I'm trying to get the laser pointer, okay. Originally, if I move this down, originally the dimple was to the left, now it's going to move to the right. This is where the dimple is going to be. So it's going to go around like this, come up. Then there's almost just kind of a little dimple right here. So it's very similar to the heart. All right, so let's say I draw it going this way. And we'll just draw it a little dimple like this. All right, so you can see it looks very, very similar to the heart shape. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be really, really picky because mine don't look, uh, that doesn't really, it doesn't look too accurate from the examples from the first page. Uh, the main thing is, guys, if you can get, and this is going to be given to you, if you get all of this correct, you understand what you're doing. All right? So there's the example of the, uh, the third case, the dimpled Limasan.